Dear students, once again welcome back to the geography class. Today you are going to learn a new lesson that is weather and the climate. These two terms, weather and the climate, are very closely related. But these two terms are often confusing and mistaken. Today I will clear your doubts. We will look into weather. So what is weather? Weather relates to the conditions or state of atmosphere of a place for a short period. Weather is not permanent. It is ever changing. It may continue for a single day or for one or two days. For example, that we can say that today is a hot day or today is a cold day or today is a cloudy day. It may be raining in one place or it may be very hot in another place. The elements of weather are temperature, pressure, humidity, precipitation and wind. So now we will see that what is climate. Climate is the average of atmospheric conditions of a place over a large area for a long time means it is not exist for a short time climate means that it prevails over a large area for a long time and uh, next we will see that uh, weather forecasting forecasting means uh, predictions and uh, you know what is meteorology meteorology means it is a study of weather and the scientist who study the weather conditions are known as meteorologists. Daily you can hear weather reports on TV as well as on radio. And who prepares this weather report? This weather report are prepared by the meteorological department. The meteorological department uses various weather instruments to collect information and on the basis of that they prepare a weather map. Nowadays they also use satellites uh, to collect the weather report. The weather report is very important for any country because they give early warning of heavy rainfall or flood or a strong wind. On the basis of that government can take precautionary measures. Means if the uh, natural calamity that is going to be affected on a particular area is uh, very uh, severe, the government can even evacuate the people from that area. Yes, now you have seen that what is weather and what is climate. So now we are going to see what are the elements of weather and climate. So this I will show you from a list and later I will explain this. See, you look at this uh, list, you can see this. Okay, so this list you have seen. Uh, then I will uh, yeah, explain this. The first one is known as uh, temperature. And the second is uh, atmospheric pressure. And the, another factor that influences uh, weather and the climate is uh, prevailing wind. And the fourth is uh, humidity. And... Uh, uh, fifth is uh, precipitation and uh, sixth uh, sunshine and uh, finally clouds. So these are the elements uh, which influence uh, weather and the climate. Of this, uh, the first is that uh, temperature. So what is meant by temperature? Temperature means uh, it is the degree of uh, hotness or coldness of uh, air. Temperature varies from place to place and the temperature is uh, influenced by a number of factors. So this I will tell you. The first factor which influences the temperature is uh, latitude. Means uh, if the regions uh, are very closer to the equator, uh, that regions uh, will get uh, high temperature. And if it is uh, far away from the tropic, uh, the temperature will uh, decrease. And another factor is that uh, uh, altitude. We know that uh, the temperature decreases with increase in uh, height. And another uh, factor is that uh, 
closeness to the oceans and the seas it means the area which are very uh, close to the uh, seas are always influenced by the sea wind and uh, one of the another factor is that the ocean current so you have learnt what is ocean current the moment of water in the ocean is known as ocean current means when the hot water uh, moves to the cold uh, regions it can uh, increase the temperature of surrounding areas similarly when the water of the uh, colder regions move to the hot regions it can also decrease the temperature of the surrounding areas and another uh, element is known as is known as the seasons uh, we know that the different type of temperature experienced in different seasons so of this uh, another factor you are going to learn is that the atmospheric pressure what is atmospheric pressure the pressure exerted by the atmosphere on the earth surface is known as atmospheric pressure and the atmospheric pressure is also uh, varies from place to place if we take the case of uh, sea level the atmospheric pressure is uh, very high and it is the differences uh, in pressure which make the movement of uh, air and uh, this movement of uh, air from one place to another place is known as uh, wind that you have already studied in the previous uh, classes and uh, another factor or the third factor which includes uh, uh, the weather and the climate is known as uh, is known as the prevailing wind and the wind means uh, suppose you think that the wind is uh, coming from the desert regions uh, uh, can um, increase the temperature of uh, a region and similarly a wind uh, which is uh, uh, coming from the polar uh, regions uh, can also the uh, decrease the temperature of a place so like that uh, wind movement uh, either decreases or increases the temperature of a region and uh, another factor is that the humidity so what do you mean by the humidity uh, humidity means uh, the amount of uh, air present uh, the amount of water vapor the amount of water vapor in the air is known as uh, humidity and the humidity is also vary from place to place uh, and from time to time so there are uh, two types of humidity one is that the absolute humidity and uh, another is known as uh, relative humidity so what is meant by absolute humidity absolute humidity uh, means uh, this actual amount of water vapor present in the air is known as uh, absolute humidity on the other hand uh, relative humidity means uh, it is a ratio between actual amount of water vapor present in the air and the amount of air uh, can hold at a given temperature is known as relative humidity and we are moving to the uh, another uh, element so that is known as precipitation so precipitation means uh, uh, that water in liquid or in solid form coming to the earth is known as precipitation so the different types of or the different uh, forms of precipitations are that snow sleet rain hail so these are the different forms of precipitation and one more factor uh, that influence weather and uh, that uh, climate is known as sunshine so we know that the the sunshine of an area is mainly influenced by three factors the three factors uh, uh, which influence the sunshine of an area is uh, latitude drought and the seasons means uh, if the regions are very close to the tropic that area will be heated and if it is uh, far away from the tropic uh, that area will get a uh, slanting rays of the sun and one more factor is that the seasons we know that uh, during uh, summer there is a longer avails of sunshine whereas uh, during the winter there is a very short avails of sunshine and the last factor is that the uh, means the cloud means a cloudy uh, skies can even keep out the sun's rays so that it can also influence the temperature of a region 
yes now we are moving to the last elements that influence the weather and the climate that is known as clouds so what is meant by clouds a cloud is a mass of small water droplets or tiny ice crystals that float in the air and the clouds are divided into four categories on the basis of their shape and size and uh, on the basis of their height the first uh, type is known as uh, cirrus clouds second is uh, cumulus clouds third is uh, stratus clouds and uh, fourth is uh, nimbus clouds so let us see what is first one that is uh, uh, cirrus clouds and this type of clouds are found at a height of 5 to 10 kilometers and they consist of tiny uh, crystals of ice uh, that are floating in the sky and the second type of clouds are known as cumulus clouds they are uh, like a cauliflower in shape and they have great vertical height and a flat base and this type of clouds cause rainfall with lightning and thunder and this type of clouds may be either uh, in white or gray in color and the third uh, type of clouds are known as stratus clouds uh, they are sheet like clouds that is spread out over the whole sky and these are found less than 2 kilometers and the fourth type of clouds are known as nimbus clouds actually uh, these are the real rain clouds they seems thick dark and black and spread out in layers uh, this type of clouds cause continuous rain often you have noticed uh, white clouds and gray uh, color glo- color clouds in the sky so let us see that what uh, what are the difference between the two uh when the droplets and the crystals uh, scatter the light the clouds uh, look white and uh, when the clouds uh, block the sun they look uh, gray in color uh, 